That did not kill me. Alright, there we go. There you are again. Perfect. I'll come back later. Wait, what's this? What do I get for what my help? What do I get for my help? Franco will let you rot here if you do nothing. If you want to get into the camp, you'll have to lend a hand. You won't get any further here with just words. Besides, I can show you how to gut the beasts. But don't think Franco will send you straight into the camp just because we've had a little fun with the swamp sharks here. There are people out here who have been waiting a long time to get in. And the next one who gets in is me. It had better be me. Show me how to gut animals. If you want to learn something about blood flies, go to Ed Gore. He knows all about them. And if you want to gut swamp sharks or lizards, you have to know how to remove skins and teeth. I can show you that. What the hell? Do I need a skin of a shadow or what? Not shadow be some skin of a swamp shark or teeth. I think it's teeth. Might as well get claws as well. It's not like it's gonna affect me. What's in the camp then? The question is what isn't in the camp. There are no swamp sharks, no swamp holes, no swamp at all. Instead, they have booze and gold. As far as I know, they even have a woman. Got it? I'll come back later. Alright, and now let's head on to this cave. And here you can find a particular character that's involved in the Angus and Hank quest. Tom. Why are you sitting around here? I've got problems. At the moment, it's better for my health if I'm not seen in the camp. What's wrong? I had really good relations with some of the pirates, you see. I was always meeting the boys outside their camp and trading. Man, I bought stuff for half the camp. Tom, bring me this. Tom, bring me that. And then that bastard Esteban got in between. What happened? Esteban sent Juan, one of his boys. The bastard waylaid us. I was just about to make a deal with the pirates when he came out of the dark and knocked me down with two blows. Man, that guy is fast. Not fast enough. I was able to get away from him. And since the ambush, you've been hiding here. First, I went back to the camp and let Fisk, Kuno, and the others know that they could forget their delivery. And that Esteban was behind it. If Esteban finds out that I told the others that he was responsible, I'm dead. That's why I can't go back to the camp. What else? Well, I'll just sit here counting rocks. And now let's go to bed. And we can finally go to Franco. And after going to Franco... Oh wow, it's raining. Amazing. He'll give us one more quest. And after that quest, uh, we should be able to get into the camp. By a particular method I'm not particularly proud of. Which is killing a person. But then again, Franco's an asshole, so... There. Yeah. Anyway, let's kill these blood flies. Take the stingers. Very useful. There we go. And now let's go back to Franco. Hey, you! It's no secret. I helped Logan. Exactly okay, so you fought the Swamp Sharks. They're useful. At least more so than most of the guys here. So can I go to the camp now? Listen, there's another thing I need you for. A few days ago, I sent Edgar into the swamp. He was supposed to get me an old stone tablet, but he hasn't been seen since. See what he's doing, and bring me that damn stone tablet. Alright, now I'm gonna see whether talking to Edgar gives me some sort of reward. Also, the stone tablets uh, in subject are actually the relics 
uh, needed to complete Satyrus's quest. So, I don't think Edgar has anything to tell me. I doubt it. I found the stone tablet. Really? You must be a brave guy. Then you've certainly earned your way into the camp. Uh. Franco sent me here about that stone tablet. Have you found it? Man, I haven't even looked for it. All I know is it's supposed to be in this old building deep in the swamp. And my inner voice tells me, Edgar, stay far away from old buildings deep in the swamp. I certainly won't risk my ass for that bum Franco. Alright, never mind. It was nice knowing you. I don't think he's got anything else to say that's interesting. So let's go to Franco and give him the stone tablet. Here's the stone tablet. Good. Very good. Raven will be pleased with you. What about the camp now? Can I finally go in? No. I already sent Logan in. He was ahead of you in the list. And at the moment, there's no need for another man in the camp. Besides, I can really use you. Now that Logan isn't here anymore. You swine. I'll get you. You miserable little wretch. You want to mess with me? Just you wait. This guy's easy. As you can see. Now get his... Well, get the green stone tablet first. And his amulet. Now his amulet somewhat good. It gives you 4 strength, 4 dexterity bonus, plus a 40 HP bonus. So I'm going to equip that instead of my uh, Amulet of Strength, seeing as I like 40 HP. And now, let's head over here. Hey, what happened down there? I flattened Franco. So? Then now it's your job to make sure the lazy dogs do their work every day. Hey, I'm not here to be bothered with the hunters. I want to enter the camp. Forget it. You did in Franco. Now you're the leader. So do your job. If I'm the leader, then I decide who goes in next. And I decided that I'm next. <laughs> it isn't that easy. We haven't asked for anyone, so no one gets in. Thoris can send a new leader for the hunters. Then there will be a vacancy inside for me. <laughs> you don't give up, do you? Okay. Then move your butt inside. Thoris will make sure that the hunters won't have to live without a leader. What are you waiting for? And get yourself a pickaxe. Alright, well. Uh, there's one last thing I want to do before finishing this episode. Is talk to this guy that's coming down. I'm just trying not to talk to anyone else. Like triggering hey, random are you conversations. The guy who knocked down Franco? Yes, why? Because now I have to take over his job. You did a great job. Thanks a lot. All right. And what's it like leading the hunters? Leave me alone. All right. And now I'm going to save. And yeah, this is going to be the end of the episode. So in the next episode, I'm going to be pretty much completing everything else in the Baden camp. And then... In the episode after that, I'm going to be finishing, well, Night of the Raven. So right now, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and see you later. Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Gothic 2 Night of the Raven Hearts Power Mod. Alright, so let's begin. Ah, who have we here then? Looky, looky. There you are. I've got good news and bad news for you. I want to hear the good news first. Well, I don't really know why, but you've made yourself a couple of powerful enemies. You can count yourself lucky that I recognized you and no one else. Because I am understanding and sociable. And what's the bad news? Raven is looking for you. So are his guards. Actually, all the bandits are looking for you. And if they find you, They'll kill you. 
A lot of people have already tried that. Then your combat skills are as good as your craftiness. Coming into the camp with some of our armor is like... the sheep coming to the wolves. Your life is hanging by a thin thread, son of danger. How much do you want? Oh, no, please. I don't want to extort gold from you. I wouldn't dream of it. Then what do you want? Recently, somebody tried to get Esteban out of the way. But he went to the bodyguards. Go to Esteban and talk to him. Afterwards, we'll talk again. Alright, well, let's go to Esteban. Now, Esteban is... Located. Hey, oh, never mind. If you're looking for a decent trader here in the camp, then you just found him. My hut is right behind Esteban. So if you need anything, come on by. Wait a okay, minute. let's just trade with him. Show me your Now I think this is the second of the only two characters in the game that have the masterwork two hander. But uh make sure you buy six turnips from him. This is part of a uh I don't know, know whether it's particularly a quest or a side quest, but it's for brewing a particular rare kind of booze that you get a recipe from Snaf. Basically, it's also part of the side quest involving Samuel, where you try to find him new recipes of booze. So, anyways, let's talk to Esteban. So you're the fellow who fought his way into camp, huh? That got around fast. Franco was a tough nut. No one messed with him. No one. Except you. Just to make it clear, if you try the same shit with me, <laughs> I'll kill you. Do you really think? I want to get into the mine. Of course you do. Then you're in the right place with me. Because everyone who digs in the mine gets to keep a hefty share of the gold. And I hand out the red stones you need, so that Thoris will let you in. You already know what I mean. Give me one of those red stones. Okay, but they aren't free. Normally I, uh, demand a share of the gold the boys get for digging. <laughs> How much do you know about mining gold, huh? You don't appear to know a whole lot about it. If I give you a red stone, it won't be because you're such a great digger. No. I have another job for you. What sort of job? One of the bandits planned to kill me. But instead, my guards killed him. He was hot for your job, huh? Ah, he was an idiot. A thug without a brain. He never would have got the idea to attack me on his own. Nah. He was only fulfilling a contract. Someone else sent him. So, I'm supposed to find out who was behind it. Whoever sent me this assassin will pay for it. Find him. And I'll let you into the mine. Senyan sent me to you about this business. Senyan? He also works for me. I told him he should keep his eyes open. Alright, well let's go back to Senyan then. Now, here's what you should do with Senyan. You shouldn't agree to help him. This will basically start a trail of clues where you find out who ordered the attack on Esteban. I've talked to Esteban. <laughs> and did he tell you about the attack? He ordered me to find out who sent the assassin. Do you know anything about that? No more than you do. I'm also on the hunt for the guy behind it. And now we come to the interesting part. Let's hear it. I want you to do your job well. I want you to find the traitor. And when you have found him, I want you to kill him for me. Then I will pocket the reward. I have your wanted poster. Don't forget that. Do your job and do it well. You can figure out what will happen otherwise. Forget it. Then what do I still need you for, you bum? Hey, people! Look who we have here! And now just kill him. One hit. And now Emilio will talk to you. Or should talk to you. Unpaid debts. Do you have a problem with that? <laughs> no, man. I don't have a problem with it. Quite the opposite. The bastard worked for Esteban. You look like a digger. I am a digger. 
The last time I was in the mine, I worked my ass off. 